I see a lot of people really struggle to create properly formatted multi-page PDFs. Don't give away your hard-earned cash to Adobe and think that you need Acrobat. There's a very powerful application built into the Mac OS called Preview, and I'm going to show you how you can use that application to create wonderfully formatted multi-page PDFs native in the Mac OS. My name is Eric Stribble. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred backpack hanger in stainless steel and aluminum designed by me holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, hold your keys. It's an incredibly versatile tool. You can use it anywhere in your home or office. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. This video sponsor, PCB Ways, sixth annual design contest is underway. It ends January 15th, 2024. Prizes include cash coupons and everyone who enters gets redeemable beans for a raspberry pico pie. You can choose from two categories, electronic or mechanical design. You retain intellectual property rights. Click the link in the description below to enter the contest with your best ideas. Don't delay, enter today. Let's take a look at how to make a multi-page PDF inside the Mac OS using Preview. Adobe Acrobat is not needed in any sort of way. Don't let Adobe take your cash. All right, let's select these four JPEGs, or photographs, and open them up into Preview. I select them all, and only three of them open up into Preview. If they don't all open up, you can drag and drop them into the little thumbnail thing here on the left. I've circled it, and you can even reorder them. All right, let's select the four JPEGs now that they're in the correct order. And we're going to do the most obvious thing in the application. This is going to be select or export, excuse me, as PDF. Hit save, and let's see what we get. Okay. We do in fact get one page PDF turned sideways, which is obviously not what we want. So we're gonna delete that. Okay, we still have our items on the left selected and let's go to print. Yes, this seems like an unlikely option for making a PDF, but it's sort of a secret hidden feature. Select your printer, in this case, my color printer, and I'm gonna select landscape to rotate them, rotate them in the correct orientation. And I can see it shows me the pages there. You think you might select fit entire page, but this in fact crops down on the image and is not what we want for our PDF. All right, and you'll also notice I have US letter selected. Let's go to the very bottom here where it says PDF, and we're gonna hit save as PDF. So we're gonna rename this file, give it some sort of a logical name, multi-page PDF. Now, there are some additional features here that you can select. So if you're under security options, you could make this a password protected uh, document if you want. We don't need to do that click OK. And let's hit save and save the document and let's see what we get. All right, I'm gonna click on the document and hit the space bar. And this allows you to preview a document. And in this case, it does in fact give us the desired result, a multi-page PDF with all four of our images. Now you will notice there is a lot of white space on the right and the top and the bottom and the left around these images. And that may or may not be what you want. And if you're putting a presentation together, you probably just want to present the images. So that's not what we want. Let's go back to our original document and see if we can fix that. 
Now we still got everything selected here. We'll go back to print and we're going to hit landscape and the correct printer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select legal here. So these images are 16 by 9 4K resolution and legal is very close to that 16 by 9 format. And let's go back to save as PDF underneath print, rename this document as a multi-page legal document format and save it. And let's take a look at what we get. All right. Also a multi-page PDF. I'm going to click to select it and hit the space bar and open it up in the finder. And this is nice. This gives us much less white space around the images. Now I'm going to double click it and open it up in preview, which of course can open PDFs. And you'll see there is just minimal white space around the document. So this is nice and better, but not perfect. Close. Let's put these aside and let's try something else. We've discovered that legal and letter or paper size is not the solution for creating a border free multi page PDF. So let's select one of these JPEGs and we're going to convert it into a PDF. So we're going to go to export as PDF and try that. All right, we'll rename this document three cubes comp and we'll hit save. Let's see what we get here. All right, here's what we saved. Hmm, that doesn't look right sideways again. And we got white space around the top and the bottom. And so we don't want that. Let's delete that. Let's try something else. We'll reopen this document and let's just go to export and see what options we have here under the file menu. And the top one here is PDF. So let's hit save and let's take a look at what we get when we do that. All right. Look at this PDF. Look at that. No borders. Really nice. All right, let's take a look at this document here. We're just previewing it in the finder. We can double click it in preview and we can see there are no borders, no white space, top and bottom. We have now made the document that is media formatted and not formatted to a specific letter size or paper size or anything like that. This is perfect for a presentation. Now, just for the heck of it, we're going to go down to print and select landscape and go back to legal because I'm sure you're curious. Well, why can't I make a PDF that way? And you can. And that is going to give you basically a PDF that is formatted to a specific paper size, in this case legal, and this has a border around it. This is not what we want for our presentation, right? So let's ditch that and continue on. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to convert the rest of these three JPEGs into each one as an individual PDF. We're going to follow this process for each one. And that's going to give us another 16 by nine formatted PDF that is formatted to the media. All right. We'll save this one. And we got one more to do. And I'm going to show you a few other tricks inside of the export feature here. There's this really nice quartz filter and you can have some options here do black and whites toned images there is even an option to do 
reduce the file size, which is really nice if you need to compress the size of the PDF into something smaller than what you have. And of course that works really good for multi-page documents that are really big to help you email them. And so that's a really nice feature to know here as well. Let's save this last one and move forward with our project. All right, so now we have four PDFs made from the original JPEGs that are formatted to the image size themselves and they are PDFs. So let's open these up. We'll select all of them and try to open them up in preview. And of course they don't. So let's turn on the thumbnail view here. We'll close out these other ones that didn't open up and we are going to select and drag them into the dock of the preview on the left and put them into our multi-page PDF. Again, just as before, let's take them and rearrange them by clicking and dragging them into whatever order that you want. All right, I'm gonna click and drag to select all of them. You can also hit Command A to select them all. And we're gonna to go to Export. And this gives us the PDF option. Let's go ahead and save this. We have to rename it, of course. Let's put an A at the end here. Let's hit Save and take a look at what we get. All right, now, for some reason, it made two multi-page PDFs. I know, this is what Preview does, but that's sort of this little bug. Let's take a look at this one here at the bottom. And let's select this. This, in fact, gives us the results that we're after. This is four images that are in the order that we selected formatted on the media size that we want based on the image. Let's go back to the original file that we made everything with and delete or remove those images that we don't want so we can have it a single page PDF. All right. We have three multi-page PDF documents. Let's review what we have here. So the one on the right, which is the last one that we made, all the pages are formatted to the size of the media. The one on the left here, multi-page letter, is formatted to a letter size document or whatever size document you happen to use where you live in the world. The one in the middle is legal. And this last one, of course, is what we really are after this multi page media formatted document. This is what you want when you're doing a presentation. And by this, by the way, this works for letters and other documents as well. Let's open this thing up and take a look at it one more time in the preview here in the finder, we'll close this out and double click it and open it up in preview and take a look at what you would look at if you were looking at some sort of presentation. So the key to making these multi-page PDFs that are media formatted is to make the images individual PDFs first and then make it into a multi-page PDF. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. 
Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.